Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Streams. Y'all ain't been here in about a week. That's a long time. No, y'all, the ones that watch all the time know that I've been up at, at Texas A&M with my granddaughter. We go on Sunday evening and come back on Friday uh, because Mom has to be with Daddy, who is terminally ill. So anyway, I'm home, and this is spring break, hallelujah. I'm so glad. Home for a whole week. So today, we're going to have a, a good chicken dish, and I don't know what I'm going to fix to go with it, and I may film it for y'all, but um, it's Tuscan, uh, it's a Tuscan chicken casserole, but it just has chicken in it, but it's seasoned good. But I'm going to make that, and then I'll fix us something to go with it. But um, I've got spring fever, and Troy and I got out there yesterday. He just creeps along in greeny gear. But, you know, he was watching where I wanted to put my raised beds and how I wanted to arrange it. So hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have my raised beds in place and full of soil and uh, ready to uh, plant some stuff. I bought, I wasn't going to buy, but I lied. I was going to plant my own seed. Well, life got in the way and I hadn't planted any yet. I'm going to and try to stagger some plants. But I did buy some tomato plants and a few zucchini and a few yellow squash up there at Bryan College Station and I'll get them in the race beds when we get it ready. We're on daylight savings time and I'm trying to get used to that and I don't know what the chickens are going to do. I guess they'll eventually get used to when they get out, you know, at a different time than usual. Maybe it won't matter to them. I don't know. Anyway, we got to put some fencing up to keep the chickens out of my garden and I got them lying and I found some it's really plastic netting at Tractor Supply that's seven foot tall and uh, everybody says they've used it for their chickens and it worked fine so I figured out a way to put a little bit here and a little bit there between buildings and give them a place to run but they won't have the free run of my whole backyard and scratching in my garden so we're gonna try to get that done too and Troy said a lot of people said it did work to keep deer out of the garden, so Troy's thinking about trying to get the boys up here and fence our garden areas that, you know, I've told y'all the deer eat our green beans and purple hull peas and all. Now, if we can get some of that around it and it works, then I can have uh, plenty of peas and green beans to can. I sure hope, I sure hope it works. But anyway, we're going to get over to the butcher block and get busy getting this chicken in the oven. And, um... It has a lot of goodness in it, and I'll tell y'all what I'm putting in as I go, and then, of course, you'll have a recipe at the end of the video. But I wanted to make a good meal. Troy just kind of, they just have to make do when I'm not here. Troy's never been one to be in the kitchen, and I'm glad. And he just, he just kind of, he says batches. And the other day he said, I told him, I said, baby, there's a frozen bag of chicken spaghetti in the freezer. And, you know, I told him how to thaw it and all, and so he did. And he said, you know, I had a helping of that chicken spaghetti left, and I went out there and got me a can of cream of potato soup and stirred them together. He said, that was a pretty good casserole. And so when I called him, I said, he said something about, I said, oh, when he told me that, I said, well, baby, that's good. You're becoming a chef. He said, no, I don't want that job. Do you know anybody that would apply for it? I said, I might apply for next week. He said, you got it. So we had a good laugh over him making do. But that's kind of what you do. You use what you got. So I'm going to, uh, I've got my chicken breasts, and this looked like come off of a turkey. They were huge. Cut them up, sliced them thinner in half, and I've got it in my 9 by 13, and I seasoned it with salt and pepper and onion and garlic powder. And then I bought some no salt seasoning at uh, Costco. And I really do like it. It gives a really good flavor, and I can use it when I'm not using everything else. But I don't have any glasses on right now to tell y'all what's in it. But if you have a Costco, it does season well, and you don't have to worry about adding extra salt. So this casserole has some seasoning. It has chili powder, onion and garlic powder, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning. It has Parmesan and mozzarella. It has sun-dried tomatoes, parsley heavy cream, cream cheese, and spinach. And it's just gonna be fantastic. So let's get over here and get it done. I've got my oven preheated to 400, and we're gonna get it made and get it in the oven. 
come on over to the butcher block and we'll get busy. I've got my chicken in my 9 by 13 and I went ahead and seasoned it. So I'm going to sit it over here for now because I need, it said three ounces of cream cheese, so I just cut that block in half and used four ounces. So I'm gonna whiz it up. And then I need to add a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Guess I need to get all of that out of there because if you don't scrape it, you could be leaving a whole tablespoon in there. That's creamed pretty good. Now I, I had one box of frozen spinach and I squeezed all the water out that I could get out. And I'm gonna put it in here and mix it really well and then we'll add some more stuff into this that we spread on the top of our chicken. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we want to add half of the garlic. And it was four cloves, so that's two cloves. Half of the garlic. We're going to add our seasoning, which I told y'all what I was putting in there. And the Parmesan cheese. And I think I needed to add half of my mozzarella. And I'm going to mix that. And that's all there is to that. So let me get my mixer back over here out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is take this mixture and spread it on the top of the chicken. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. <coughs> and I must have got with some black pepper because it's making me want to cough a little bit. You want to spread this on the top of the chicken breast. Make sure each one gets some on it. Man, I found me a resale shop at College Station. I think I told y'all already, but I got me a Salad Master hand cranked. Well, it works like a food processor, but you use it by hand, and I am so excited to have that. Okay, I've got all of this spread around on my chicken. Let me show you. That's just the mixture that I just whizzed up with the spinach, cream cheese, uh, heavy cream seasoning. Now what we're going to do, I'm making sure I know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to put the sun-dried tomatoes on the top. And that's eight ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. And I just took my scissors and cut them up a little bit better. And these were in oil. You drain them and you reserve one tablespoon of the oil to go on the top. And that had a little bit left in it. And then you're going to drizzle this tablespoon of oil from the sun-dried tomatoes over the top. You want to put the rest of the garlic. Guess I'll get my hands in that. I think actually I should have put this down on the chicken and I didn't, but the flavors will blend. That'll be good. Yeah, and also it called for fresh parsley and I didn't have any, so I'm using dried, but that's going to work just fine. 
So now you want to sprinkle the other half of your Parmesan, I mean of your mozzarella on the top. It's not really a whole lot of cheese, but it's cheesy. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this dried parsley. I wish I had fresh, but I didn't. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of this around and it'll kind of rehydrate a little bit. Okay, I've got this ready now. I'm going to cover it with foil and cook it at 400 uh, covered for about 20 minutes and then I'll uncover it for 15. So let me get my foil and we'll get it uh, all covered good and get it over there in the June oven. Hang on just a minute. Okay, I like to fold the sides where I'll have a little bit of thickness on the sides over here to use. And I'm just kind of rolling it because it says loosely. Okay, y'all, I'm going to get this in the June oven and um, be back in about 20 minutes and we'll uncover it and let it cook another 15 and then put the thermometer in and see if it's done. And it won't be long, I'll get to eat. Okay, I got it out of the oven and it is piping hot. The cheese is melted and you see the sun dried tomatoes on the top. I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then I'll plate a, a piece of the chicken breast and show y'all, I'll taste of it, show you what it tastes like. I've got one on the plate. It's still too hot to taste of, so I let it cool a little bit more and then I'll bring y'all back and uh, we'll taste of it. Y'all, I thought I would show you my uh, beds. I'm going to have these three right here going this way with enough room in between them that I can work and then see they are right beside my three black ones that have been here and then on the other side over there I'm going to be moving those pots that are on the other side right there <clears throat> and I'm going to put three more there in, in uh, just like these three over here and then on the end once we get all of these done on the end of these three from the ends of us I'm gonna have some going long ways three going long ways over there so I'll have nine raised beds out here uh, that I can plant and grow some uh, vegetables and you let me see if I can zoom up I'll show you all my garlic again it's looking good garlic and let me get it tilted down here. Well, I'll tell you, I hope you can see because I'm not tall enough to see what y'all are seeing, but there's garlic over here too. And then, let's see if you can see. There's garlic over there in that one. So everything's doing pretty good right now. And if you can see that pile right there, that's mushroom compost that I'm going to be putting into my new beds and I'll have good rich soil that'll grow stuff good. And right now, I'm fixing to run out there and get those chickens out and see how many eggs I have. See, I just thought I'd bring y'all along with me while my chicken's cooling in there for me to taste of it. Let y'all see my ladies. Come on, girls. Come on now. I gotta go get eggs. Come on. Get out of the way. So I can go in and get some eggs. Yeah. Let's see how many eggs we've got in here. Let me see. Well, I got two. And by the end of the day, I should have seven. So uh, we'll go back in and check our chicken and see if it's cool enough to that we can uh, have some of it. They're just happy as can be when they're out here pecking around in the yard. Well, y'all, since I'm walking past the piano, I thought I'd sit down and play a song. Just maybe one. Here we go.
chicken's cool and I'm anxious to taste of it and I want some of the sun-dried tomatoes and all the goodie that was with it. And I'll let y'all know how good it is. Uh-oh. Mmm. That's yummy. Mm -mm. He always helps. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Well, a swig of sweet tea helps your food go down. I need to try this. This is very good. It wasn't hard. Measure all your little business out ahead of time. And then just put it together and pop it in the oven. Since you've already got spinach in it, uh, you just have to come up with what your family likes the best. I would like to do maybe some corn or carrots where it would be less fattening. Some carrots and, uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of a rice like cilantro lime rice or um, just some stewed potatoes, but that would make a good meal. Pet chicken is awesome. I think that it would be good to cook it like this and then slice it up and make it onto a hoagie roll. A hoagie roll. Um, it would make a good sandwich. It's got all those flavors in it and it is yummy. I say that about everything but you know if I cook something that I don't like I'll be perfectly honest with you and tell you that ain't very good and you don't need to make it. But most of what I make for y'all I've made before so I know it's good. This is a fairly new recipe for me but man man it's delicious. And If y'all got a good recipe let me tell you again. If you got a good recipe that you think I would just love, 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 you need to email it to me. Because I like to get new recipes. I've got a few that some of y'all have sent me that I'm going to use. Just had not got around to it yet. I was going to tell y'all what I've been doing. About 40 years ago, I took a little crochet class. A lady in town opened up a crochet, crochet shop, yarn shop in Cleveland of all places, but it was a neat little shop, sweet little lady, Miss Woods. And so I uh, took lessons from her and I made a couple of afghans. Well, you know what? While I'm sitting up there with Lauren, there's nothing to do. So I got my crochet hook out, got me some yarn, and I've been making dishcloths. And I am proud of myself. One day I'll show y'all what they look like. I got them stacked in there in the den right now. I got to where I can pretty well make one in an hour. Now that's, that's trucking pretty good. But when Lauren has a one hour class in the morning, I just sit there and wait on her. So I've been doing uh, some crocheting while I'm sitting there. So that's what I've been kind of filling my time up with. I will be uh, back up there probably next week depending on Richard's condition and, and what we're looking at, but April needs to be with him. So I'm sure that I'll be back with Lauren. But this week I'm going to try to get y'all several videos done. And you know, it's good for me to visit with y'all. It's, it's, I love to be in the kitchen. This is my happy place. This, the garden, of course my sewing room, any of those just, it, it's like my spot. I love it. So it's good for me to get to be in the kitchen with y'all. I may take my camera with me and I may do a video in the RV uh, up there next week with, uh, with Lauren, but I'm not sure. There's not hardly enough room in there to change your mind, much less turn around and do stuff. It's a good size RV, but it's just not like the house. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed looking at my little empty raised beds and where the next ones are gonna be and the chickens, and I hope I get some more eggs. I've been getting seven a day, but um, I'll probably get some more this evening. I guess they're mixed up on this time change. I don't know. There are a clock out there. I didn't see a clock. Tell you what, this weather, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, it's got my sinuses still in a horrible mess, so if I sound like something's wrong, that's all it is, it's just sinus. Okay, folks, hope y'all have enjoyed this hodgepodge of this and that and a delicious chicken dish. I'm going to get this uploaded and um, or edited, and I'll probably run to town and upload it where maybe y'all will get it today. This is Monday, and then I'm going to do some stuff coming up for St. Patrick's Day. So I've got to get, I've got to prepare that where y'all will have that to see if that's something that you would want. But right now I'm going to edit 
and get it uploaded and move on to the next one. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. You know, he didn't stay up all night last night worried about world conditions. He didn't stay up all night worried about the condition of your life or the issues of your life. He already knows every bit of it. He knows what's going to happen. He knows how it's going to affect you and what he's going to allow and what he's going to say no. That's my child. So don't worry about it. Give your cares to the Lord. Let him rule the world. And you just enjoy today. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We do know our world's in a mess. Our United States is in a mess. But guess what? Today, right here where I'm at, it's a pretty day. The sun's shining. And I have the opportunity to do whatever I want to do if I can afford the gas. And my baby car gets 40 miles to the gallon, so I can do a little bit. Thankful to have a vehicle that gets good mileage, and I can still go and do a little bit. But I said all that to tell you again, get all the sugar out of the day you can. Make some memories. Get all the fun out of today that you can get. Enjoy health and strength and life in a beautiful world that right now is peaceful. And don't borrow trouble. Don't worry about what tomorrow may be. Enjoy today. It's a gift. It's a present. The Lord bless and keep y'all. He's a good Lord and he looks out for us. And I'll be back here in a day or two with another video for y'all.